Hello, my loves. Just wanted to drop in with this case that has been ongoing for about three and a half years and has a happy ending. Let's jump into it. case very closely. Now, one of them is a close family friend who was in contact with Alicia's mom just today. ABC 15's Ashley Beretta sat down with her tonight. It's the end of a long journey, and I am, um, I, it still has not sunk in. It really has not. Uh, when you wake up every day and you talk to a mom whose child is missing, it changes you. Kathleen Wynn says every single day the past three and a half years have been filled with thoughts and never ending hope in the search for Alicia Navarro. She's feeling thankful Wednesday that the missing Valentine has been found. We've always feared uh, the worst, but hope for the best. And her being found alive today was a huge relief. Kathleen is an advocate for families of missing children and the executive director of nonprofit Project 25, which assists in providing resources to them. That's how she was introduced to Alicia's mother in 2019. We never stopped looking. We never stopped trying. All this time later, Kathleen and Alicia have grown to be dear friends, speaking on the phone almost daily, including in front of us Wednesday night. They briefed her but she hasn't had any time to prepare for this emotionally. Uh, she did talk to her daughter. Kathleen is working to support the family and help them heal. There is still a lot to be uncovered, as we still don't know what the teen may have endured over the past few years. I wish Jessica was here. I would give her a big hug. She's across the country. Uh, but we will uh, we'll be finding out very soon uh, the rest of this story. Ashley Perrette is ABC 15 Arizona. Wow. Wow, and wow, I mean, this is amazing news. Even though there's lots of healing, lots of questions, understanding to come, this mother has been in fear that her daughter was gone forever for the last three and a half years. And for her to be home or coming home is amazing. Not very many children go missing and are able to come back home.